Welcome to Small Life. There we go. There goes a slug. Let me verify dimensions and we're done. First slug completed. Well guys, off camera, we made a few more. So we have a total of eight. And with this slug, we will have a total of 17 slugs. Well, 17 is a lot, right? You don't expect or need more than, oh, let's say top 10 to make these work to see how they perform. But the idea is that I'm just not just testing these. This is just one model of the slug. I want to test other models as well. And we'll have other controls. Well guys, as you can see, slugs are already getting progressed and the uh, tapping is already done. I did all that off camera, it's rather repeating itself. And I did cut these in half. So I do have a few tips for you guys if you want to make accurate machining on the Unimat. And if you have, uh, let's say, depth issues, now the correct way would do would do to do it with an indicator and see exactly how far you're traveling. But this is an aluminum base. You can't use an indicator on an aluminum base. I am considering putting some plates, steel plates or sheets or washers embedded into this wood base, but at the moment I don't have the ability to stick an indicator and see how far I'm going in. Also, if I'm drilling into the metal and I want to know how far I'm going. Uh, the Unimat has a very useful tailstock gauge over there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me show you. So the Unimat does have a gauge here. So we can actually know how far we're going into the metal. But the point is not actually not knowing how far you're going. But where your edge is. So just for demonstration's sake. Let's say I wanted to drill this. And I haven't drilled it already. Alright. And I'm using this 7mm drill bit. 
I don't want to proceed beyond 9 millimeters depth, maximal depth, which means the tip of this bit shouldn't exceed 9 millimeters. The best way is to take some shim stock, and this is 0.11 millimeters shim stocks or 110,000, and you just touch it, it stops. And, you, know, you can feel the friction over here. So you can feel the friction over here. You lock the end over there. And then you know you're just 0.1 millimeters from the edge. Now 0.1 millimeters in my scale is negligible, so I don't mind about it. But if I, if I wanted to, I could just proceed exactly 0.1 millimeters ahead. And then I'm right at the edge of the work. It's been second for you few weeks for me but uh, <laughs> we got most of the stuff ready the brass heads are done right so here we go Well, this is it. We got nine plates, more or less flat. I hand sanded these, and I think they should uh, they should do quite nicely. Right, so that's for this part. Now, there is what I call a control slug. There we go. There's our control slug. And this is not backed up at all. So we have nothing except a, let's call it a comet slug, okay? We need to make a backing for this. Right, so there goes our midway. Let's break that in half. Okay, that's a lot easier. All I want to do now is I want to break these apart. So the main idea is that this is sort of a, a sabo for a slug. Slugs fittings in there. It's nice and snug. It's being shot like that. Going through there, these hopefully open up. And we're done. So basically we're almost done. Really almost done. And one thing remains, so let's get sorted.
and let's try and, and do these <laughs> and I'm really trying I'm not playing with it I'm just giving it all my best and you do get good friction with gloves it's uh, uh, not going anywhere to be more accurate it's not going anywhere where Jeff doesn't want it to go <laughs> Our TFM team doesn't want it to be. Alright. So there we go. It's binding. It's binding for sure. We'll find another use for these little cuties. There we go. These are going to be backed up like so. We're going to have to shoot them like that. Just for support. And I hope they'll work properly. These get their own special So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for um, <laughs> surviving the video so far. <laughs> I hope you didn't get bored too much. I tried to narrate uh, and cut down all these uh, annoying little parts where I do repetitive work, meaning turning this down. I mean, the head, for example, just facing, turning, facing again, drilling, tapping, etc. So I tried to narrate it down to one. I think it's uh, it's a less boring procedure. But all in all, we have plenty of slugs. I hope uh, Jeff is going to be pleased. <laughs> it's taking me a bit more, a lot more time than it uh, I anticipated. Uh, but uh, all in all, it's been fun. This is a very simple design. It's not designed to test some sort of ballistics or whatever. This is uh, just a skeletonized diabolo round. So, you know, diablo round. And this is sort of a control showing there's no need for a tail. So you could, if you'd like to call it a comet, you could call this one a comet and this a skeleton. But basically speaking, I wanted to show you guys that basically you just need a head and a tail to get stability. And this is, you know, the basic slug. Now let's show you something. This is front heavy. Okay, I'm putting it on the very edge here. And it's front heavy. Now let's try and find something else, some sort of a seesaw. Let's take one of my, uh, and I'm going to, I can already tell you it's front heavy because it's going to drop like so. So this is a front heavy slug. This is an even more, and even a simpler front heavy slug. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to spread up and open like a sabo, a design sabo. It's just designed to back it up against the pressure in the barrel. So uh, if it does open up, that's nice. That's interesting. If not, you know, it's, it weighs nothing compared to this. Uh, so that's all there is to it. It's very simple. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope these will fly as well as I think they do because at supersonic speeds things do um, change a bit or actually do change dramatically compared to our known subsonic world. I hope Jeff will like these. <laughs> these are little cute ones, I'm sure. Uh, I think uh, he'll, he'll find a better name than a comet for these. And uh, the same goes for those because these are really, really cute. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.